Welcome back to the Wake Man channel. All right, uh, down here at the shop again. And uh, as you can see, I've got a pile of drywall. And this isn't even all of it. There's there's 20 more sheets I couldn't fit in here. Um, started out this weekend with a big old mistake. Um, I rented, as you can see, I rented a U-Haul. Uh, didn't realize this was gonna be a $300 U-Haul. Otherwise, I probably would have gone with a, a flatbed trailer. It probably wouldn't have cost me more than like 50 to 100 bucks. Um, because it would have been way easier to load this because they can just forklift it right onto a flatbed. Whereas we had to, un you had to unload the forklift into here one sheet or two sheets at a time. And now, uh, now this this part, this next part is going to be the hardest. Because as you can see, my buddy Rob here is with me, and uh, we're uh, we're going to have to unload all this by hand into the inside the shop here. So that's going to be the hardest part of today. So I think a good chunk of this morning. Um, we're gonna get a, a good, good workout. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, anyways, we're gonna start. Let's go upstairs here. We're gonna start by working on the ceiling. So once we get all the all the sheetrock unloaded into each room, um, we're gonna work on the ceiling upstairs, the highest spots. Um, it will, hopefully we'll get the whole ceiling upstairs done. Um, and then uh, that's, you know, I think that's gonna take care of uh, Rob being down here with me today, and I got another friend coming tomorrow to help out, but uh, but Rob's mainly helped me with the hard spots today. So um, other than that, uh, there's not really any more updates, uh, nothing else done. I hope to have most of the drywall done by the end of the weekend, but I do have next weekend to work on it as well. Anyways, that's it. We're gonna go ahead and get started.
right, first day drywalling done. As you can see, I got myself a little bed here. It's gonna be the first night that I've slept in the shop. We do have regulated temp in here right now. I've got it set to 50 degrees down the, downstairs. And although it's dual zone, there's no thermostat for upstairs and I don't think they've put the switch board in for it yet. So it's 50 downstairs, but it, it's gotta be in the somewhere in the 60s upstairs because we've been sweating all day. And I did get a good bit of drywall put up. Um, it was a ton of work just hauling it in here. But as you can see, um, I got a good part of the ceiling done in here. Um, probably the main stuff we got done today was uh, that stuff up in there. Kind of this, all this really tall stuff and this ceiling. There's just a little piece there left, a little piece there. And then I, I want to do this wall, you know, I want to do the high stuff. Um, I also, it might be hard to see in here, I'll turn the light on. Also got almost all of this ceiling done, all but like three pieces pretty much. Um, still need to do this closet ceiling, but I'm not worried about that. Um, this bathroom ceiling, also not too worried about that. Uh, Cause it's not too high up. But I am supposed to have a friend coming down tomorrow to help as well. Um, so even if even if he doesn't make it, um, I think I can get a lot of stuff done. I wanna I wanna at least finish the ceilings in the bedrooms upstairs, and also do these high parts of the wall up here, um, just because I know those will be hard to do by myself. So that's it. I'm uh, ready to take a rest. I've been working all day. It's almost uh, I think it's probably 9:30 right now. Um, I did take kind of a dinner break, but uh, yeah, I've been working all day. I've been up since four o'clock, so I'm gonna. Try to get some sleep and I'll probably be up when the sun comes up, which is probably about you know, 6.37 to get at it again. All right, just wrapping up for the weekend. Um, didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but got a lot done and really got, pretty much got all the pieces done 
that I needed help with. Um, so again, got that whole area up in there done, um, which I'm hoping to be able to mud tape sand that, um, or no, mud and tape it uh, next weekend, maybe, um, just because then I can take these boards down and finish drywalling in here. Yeah, or the next weekend. Um, you can see I got this high board up um, in here. Got the entire ceiling done, um, except for the closet ceiling, but I can do half inch on that. So I'm not worried about that. Um, started there. Everything else I can do standing on the ground, get to those. Um, got both of these on, got that one on, and got the ceiling in the bathroom done, except for the little tiny piece I can handle by myself. Um, got the, you know, I didn't get this one done, but that's a small piece, so I can again do that by myself. Um, coming here, similar, the whole ceiling is done, except for the closet. Uh, and, and really counting this closet too, I haven't done that ceiling yet. But I can do half inch on those, I don't have to do five eighths, although I might do five eighths on one of them just because I have some. Um, I also have the closet to do in here, but you can see that's only two foot across. So I'm not worried about that one either. Um, then, you know, we just got that piece there and that's pretty much it, you know, really for two full days. It doesn't seem like much, but you know, those were all the difficult pieces. Uh, anytime you're doing drywall overhead, especially at this angle and it's five eighths, uh, it, was, it was a good amount of work. So it's getting easier and easier. So, you know, these pieces right here, we were able to do pretty quick. And up here, you know, so it's getting easier and easier. So it'll start going faster. I'm hoping to get a good amount done next weekend. Um, I'll probably, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I might have to spend another weekend putting up drywall, but it's just how it goes. So I was able to um, turn on the water to the whole house because um, it is holding temperature in here now. I actually slept in here last night, as you saw, uh, and it, it must have been between like, I don't know, it's probably, it was probably around 64 degrees, which is like perfect sleeping temperature for me. Um, that's why I, the thermostat downstairs is at 50. Um, so I think it did pretty well. <clears throat> um, I did identify one water leak that I took care of really quick. Um, so it's all good now. And it's, it's been on since last night all day. Uh, I haven't noticed any other leaks, so I think we're all good there. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm gonna take off and uh, I'll be back to Spend two days next weekend again. Uh, basically, same scenario. I'll stay the night down here, um, and it sounds like I might have uh, the have my friend Jeff with me, which is the guy that was with me today, um, helping me on that too. It does help to have two people because you can kind of just go even faster. So, but yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any thoughts on this video or ideas for future videos, please leave those in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click on that notifications bell so you can be notified of my future videos. I'll see you next week.